Well, Mokin, do you have any ideas to add to that? Yeah, also, like, um, so it would just like, show, like, if there's any faults or like, how much tectonic plates are there. Yeah, because yeah, where do we think faults are? Where earthquakes happen. Maybe. So maybe some, like, fault data? Yeah. Is that what I'm hearing you say, Joaquin? Great. Because we also think fault data is connected to what? Uh, the earthquakes. Oh, so. And then maybe like this one would also be the same because maybe the fault data could be moving the mountains. Oh my gosh! So all this data in one. So like diagram of mountains, underground maps, fault line data. And then this one, I'm not really sure how, but we can kind of like see if it was at any place before. Like if we had like this. I don't know. I don't know. It's kind of confusing, but if we like kind of go back in time, like with like a picture or something, and we see if it's like eventually somewhere else. So are you saying like time lapse photos? Yeah. Or if like a, that like, might be hard to find, though, don't you think? Yeah. I'm not really sure. But I'm thinking back to the article. Didn't they say something regarding like sensors? Because mm -hmm. maybe like 20 years ago when they started doing this, the maybe it was like somewhere else in a completely different location. So I mean, I feel like I'm hearing you say what? Joaquin, what's she saying? I feel like she's saying like we could just, like see a picture like that was like 20 years ago mm -hmm. and see where the mountain was then, and then a picture now, then so you can see where the mountain is now. Pictures over time? Great. Love it. Actually, that's not this question. Can earthquakes form mountains? That was my question. My, that was my other question. So how can we actually figure out if an earthquake makes a mountain? I don't know if data will tell us that. Is there anything that scientists do or build to be able to... We could build a model of an earthquake. Yeah. Or we could see like a lot of earthquakes and we can see if there's a lot of mountains by then. But then that would be maybe, it would be this one. What makes, mountain, what makes earthquakes happen in mountains more than anywhere else. But interestingly enough, your idea about a model, I think, is... Yeah. That maybe you can see like... How that actually happens, because that was your question, right? That's you. That's actually your question. Yeah. yeah. Can earthquakes form mountains? So maybe we can do things with a model that can help us see if a mountain is actually. I think Karen was saying, like with the tectonic plates, and it goes up like that, which forms a mountain. Which is weird because that's not the only movement that. Yeah. It had because it also went backwards, right? Mm. Interesting. But maybe a model, maybe many models can also help us figure out this different. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, how many of you at this point maybe felt a little bit stuck? Yeah, like this is why, yeah, some of these questions are more challenging than others to answer, but I think if there's a will, there's a way. So um, we're going to kind of summarize it here because obviously I've needed your help. I don't know what resources to use or what kind of materials we're going to need to answer our questions. So um, should we just go right through the questions or start with one? Or does someone want to be brave and go first? Alright, cool. Tim, what was your thing? What was your category? Uh, we had avalanches, but not all Okay, I know. That was my mistake. Sorry. So your category is on avalanche. Avalanche. What did you guys say we should do to figure out some of the answers to our avalanche questions? Uh, we said, like, we can make a many, like, the question was how, like, if parts of Mount Everest break off, and if, like, an avalanche breaks off parts of Mount Everest, will make it thinner? And like how taller we said, um, we can make a mini model out of rock and then pour ice on it to see if like anything breaks off. So what's Tiffany saying? What can we do to figure out how avalanches may play a role in Mount Everest? Okay. We can make like a mini avalanche as a model. With rocks and ice on it to see if it actually does something. Great, okay. So we've got model with, you said, rocks and ice. Great, any other ideas for that? Okay, cool. Table two, you ready? What was your category? Can you speak up, please? We got no evidence. Okay. And our question that we answered was. How does Mount Everest grow taller every year? And we kind of combine that with another question. Is there more of a natural of the ground? And then we think that we can um, use like a simulator of 
what's happening are you know and like I'm not trying just now efforts to see if there's anything that could um help explain the problem. So what's my saying? Can you repeat that? Um, so our question was how does Mount Everest get taller every year? And we combine that with is there more of a mountain underground? And so we want to use a simulator of what's happening underground to see if anything underground could be helping it grow taller. So what's she saying? figure out stuff about Mount Everest then. Sorry? Uh, using a simulator. Is that what you said? Specifically a simulator for what? Um, to see if there's any more mountains. Well, not Everest, other than mountains. So like a mountain simulator in a way? Is that what you mean by it? Is that what you mean? Or no such thing as this? Okay, so mountain. Any other ideas you guys have? Okay. So um, you guys definitely have given me some great ideas. So if we're not going to go the volcano rope, what probably makes the most sense to start with? Like come Monday when we come back to school, like where should we put our focus if it's not going to be volcanoes? Uh, Chanel? Mountains. Maybe mountains? Okay. What else? Miles, you haven't heard from me today. Uh, earthquakes. Yeah, maybe earthquakes. Like I feel like if we dig deeper into earthquakes, which is what happened at Everest, that can maybe give us some more insight. Okay? And I feel like I heard over and over, simulator, data, 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 data. Like maybe we need to do some more data collection before we end up building a model so we know how it works. Okay? I'm really proud of you guys. You gave me some really good ideas. You gave us some great ideas. Where we're going to go. Okay?